everyone, thank you all for coming in for today's video for Shard It or Keep It. Well, I'll be reviewing all types of weapons and perks and seeing how effectively good they are. Today, I'll be looking into the Moon Exclusive Arc Logic AR, that is the 600 RPM adaptive frame, which you can get from either powerful reward moon activities or complete the Essence of Failure from the Langton. Quite a simple and easy to use AR with not much special traits to it, it does have a PvE unique role that no other 600 RPM frame can get which is something I'll show later on, and is also a PvE focused weapon with the way its perks are. I will of course cover how it plays in both PvE and PvP with these selected gold world perks to look out for, and also provide you with as much neat bits of information for you guys to be aware of. The weapon role I will be playing with has Chamber Compensator, Extended Mag, Overflow, Triple Tap, and a Handling Masterwork. The art logic is just like any other 600 RPM adaptive frames, where it's not bad, but it's not good either, except from a few perks you can roll with. At the moment, it is the only updated random roll arc energy weapon in its category for us to use, while Norn Hunger with Void and Galio 42 with Solar fit their representative energy roles. Kind of a good thing if you're looking for a 600 RPM energy AR for a specific counter, where using just an SMG just isn't enough. Its stats across the board are average, with its handling, reload, magazine, and aim assist being above what we want, and it's suitably fitting for the RPM frame type. However, both its stability and range is on the lower end of things, where both stats for either PvE or PvP is surely needed for improvement, which can be easily gained by battle choice, mass work, or mag. Compared to Norn Hunger with a stability of 49 and range of 53, and Galliard with a stability of 50 and 40 on range, you can see the Norn Hunger coming out with being the best in terms of out of stats. In fact, the Norn Hunger is literally the best for all round purposes in the 600 RPM frame categories for PvP and PvE. Now it has moderate recoil control, which is easily controllable in close to mid ranges, but at long distances is where it will fall flat. For PvP, you want to look for more stability over range, as although range is superior in the Crucible, 600 RPMs won't be easy to control at most mid to long range fights, from my experience. You have to remember your TDK is around 0.80, which requires 8 crits on one body, or just 14 body shots to kill. So to utilize this fully, you need to make your weapon as stable as possible rather than focus on range, which is still recommended, but stability is a must for all 600 RPMs. You have the upper hand with high RPMs, large reserves and magazine size, which can cause a lot of flinch for most players, and unless they react quick enough, they'll be shredded in minutes, as long as you stay in your effective range. Except from that, its stats are averagely good with nothing more to say from there. For god rolls, you want to look out for the following. PvE. 4 bore, polygonal or corkscrew barrel, acquired round, extended mag or steady rounds, overflow, moving target or substance, demolitionist, rampage or rangefinder. PvP, you want extended barrel or 4 bore, steady rounds or acquired rounds, moving target or substance, rampage or rangefinder, and generally that's all you need for PvP. As you may have noticed, most of Art Logic perks are catered for PvE over PvP. If you take a look at my role, you'll notice that no other 600 adaptive frame can get this specific role at all. Our logic has 41 in the mag by default. With extended mag, this will push it to 49, with a plus 8 increase to mag size. Now add in backup mag, and you'll hit 57 in mag, which is a plus 8 increase as well. Overflow now allows us to increase our weapon's magazine size when we collect either special or heavy ammo. So let's do the maths. Extended mag, plus backup mag, plus overflow, will equal 140 in a mag with all active. Now also add in triple tap with a chance of getting plus one bullet back upon three critical hits means you can either A outright destroy anyone you face with one whole magazine size, or B outright destroy half your opponent's health depending on your opponent you're facing, and then finish them up with whatever's left. This is a PvE role only, and it's a win-win in my eyes, as you can't get this role under the Norn Hunger nor the Galliard. Literally, none of those two weapons can actually stand against this weapon in terms of PvE for this role here. So now, let's move on to the PvP side of things. I'll let this clip here play out so you can get a general idea as to how well the weapon performs. And then once it's done, I'll give the final verdict from there, so I'll see you guys Arise in a second. And defeat your opponents. Okay, hopefully, actually, I'm, I'm not actually liking this map because this is one of the worst maps in terms of pushing up with an AR. Okay, so I've got one person, so that's a good sign. This right there. This right there. I've got a hit. Lost the lead. Okay. No, I swear to God, I've got a cry house case.
What? Okay, that was really quick TDK. I, I, I didn't see him get a kill. So the only thing I could possibly think of was he did get a kill, but I wasn't paying attention. I'll have to check later. There's one thing here. What? <laughs> Hit first, I still died? I know there's a guy who's aping down here. That shut them down. Gotta put that down up there. That shut them down. Okay, I need to push up. There's gonna be a guy who's gonna chase. Go over there as well. Put some of these guys down there. Put that there. No, you get a grenade. Okay. I'm gonna lie. Void wall is actually pretty destructive when it connects. Okay, there's one guy over there. I it's not like a scout rifle, but I don't know what one exactly. Okay, there's a guy with one eye mask, which I'm afraid of. I need to back off. I have finished him. That's annoying. Okay, I've got to back off there. I'm going to put this, this white here amazing. instead. In numbers, Guardian. Excellent. It's me easier. Did your guy just come here over there? So I'm just gonna back off. How was I missing? That was a hit. I swear this game it has like a mind of its own. Like. You try to hit them, the game will allow it. That game just hate outright hates me. Alright guys, you you gotta push up. Your oh my god. See my team they, they've got to like stop backing off and be aggressive with them. Okay, there's one person over there. Which means two things. Shotgun, yeah. Okay, that wasn't a hit, surprisingly. I'll take that, thank you. I can't stop reloading because it is like auto load anyway. I have a shield, but it, I don't believe it will be enough. Oh, this game in this. I literally, it is one of the. I, I hit some of that. I hate the. <laughs> I hate that subclass. It's so. Won it's, it's so unbelievably wonky. Okay, there's someone over here as well. You can't push up. Someone got a super over there. Five minutes remaining. I've got some lifts here again. Ah, see, just see that's annoying. Because you can't do anything in that situation there. Okay, I'll go back off because it's gonna I'll come around here and I'll peek. Okay, teams are good, teams are good. Yeah, push up, guys. 
Okay. Go back off that one. Something like that. That was a waste. Because so I guess the good thing was... Uh, is that my lag? It's not mine. That must be that... Wow. I've had bad connection lately, but this is... Yeah, I thought you'd do that. What is that? Oh my god. I can't, I can't wait to get that. I cannot wait for that. Artifact to go. Oh, it's the fact that they give them literally invincible frames. That just makes no logical sense. It means one person. Three minutes left. I just, I literally hate it. The fact that it gives people invincible, f oh, invincible frame. It just, just doesn't make any sense. I'm gonna put this right here because I know exactly how it's gonna go. If I push, like, thing is, you can't push up left or right. Oh, that shield protected me. My God. And they'll chase if they can. Fighting with heart, Guardian. Together as one. Yo, what's my team do? Fight for vengeance. Take their lead from them. Put over here. I got them. means Go back off there's a guy going mad with bandies over there jesus like what gets this firing off i know something bad's gonna happen i'll say something good or something positive will happen and i'll just get killed now i'm waiting for the person over here to come Okay, let's try this again. Nope, okay, thanks game. Alright, I'll go with that. I'll take it. One minute left. Oh god. Like different corners like that. I don't know exactly what's gonna happen. I'll take it. I'll take that. <laughs> well, it was a good one. At least I did survive for a long time, but we're still losing. But we had a good one. I, I, I won't deny that. 30 seconds remaining. Okay, right there. I can't push up. Oh. Two for one. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't get in time, but it was a good one, I'll admit, it was a really good one. Except for the few parts where my team just kind of backed off. They won't be engaging and pushing, but we, we did good, I admit, we did good. We did good. Alright, let's, let's see how much we won. What I get? Let's see the scores. Defeat is not surrender, we got 30. Now from the clip you just saw, the art logic is amazing when there's an interactive range in PvP. I can actually destroy it while I was at it. Just to note you will need to land some headshots if you wish to kill quickly, as just focusing on the body won't be enough at times. Plus you need to make full use of your RPM's flinch factor to get the upper hands on others. Although my role used was more for PvE, it still stacks up well with the included bonus of that large mag boost, so I can keep firing until I eventually run out. 
but it also means I could take on a number of players advancing on me without needing to reload. It's just a shame I didn't get Rampage for my final column as that would have been something else to work with and also be quite happy to work with as well. The only thing I found annoying was my stability at times with it messing around with my accuracy but that's a given for its 600 RPMs. But honestly, except from that and except from how it performs, the art logic and its perks feel more at home against PvE content rather than PvP. If you want a 600 RPM that offers more to the user for PvP and PvE and has better stats overall, then I suggest you go for the Norn Hunger AR. But if you want a PvE weapon that can hold a large magazine size for any content and generally better utility from there, then art logic is your weapon of choice. So go out there and try to get the role that I've got here. And I promise you, this weapon will not let you down. And this role here is definitely a godsend for PvE. And with that comes to the end of the weapons review video for today. If you enjoyed the video, then please leave a like, a sub, and also do follow me on Twitter to keep up to date with Destiny content. If you dig that type of stuff, link is down below. But once again, thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you in the next one.